everybody, it's V. Welcome back to my channel and today I have a sample box unboxing for you. If you're unsure what a sample box is, it's a bit like a subscription box but instead of that monthly commitment, you only have to pay one off to get a bunch of items in a box. For me, I think sample boxes are a great way to go if you're not in a position financially to be spending anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds a month considering it's a one-off payment. You can buy them as frequently as you like without having to wait too long. <laughs> I have reviewed a subscription box before, I'll link that um, somewhere up here if you want to go and check that out after this video. If you read my blog you know I'm not particularly keen on the whole monthly commitment thing, but I think maybe sample boxes are the way to go? We shall see! If you have any of your favourites that you might want to let me know and I can have a little snoop, wouldn't be opposed, might be converted. But for this video, sample boxes are where it's at. The lovely people at YesStyle sent me the Korean Beauty sample box to review for you and I thought, why not? I buy Korean Beauty as it is quite a lot myself online from other places and I thought that it would be a fab opportunity for me to bring you another way you can get your hands on Korean beauty if you're starting out or building your collection and just give my general thoughts on this sort of thing. Yes Style, if you've never heard of them before, are in my opinion a bit like the Asian version of ASOS. Um, they have a lot of different products on there from fashion and beauty to homeware and have a massive list of brands that includes stuff from Japanese, Korean and Chinese designers. I've shopped with them for a really long time myself, probably around five or six years now. So even outside of brand deals and PR samples, they are a website that I use and I know the system of quite well. I will say that the pricing can be quite odd sometimes. I have come across instances where the S style prices are more expensive than the items prices on the respective companies' websites. But it kind of does work out through shipping because the S style shipping rates are really good. So mm, yeah, the um, sample box, let's get right into it. The sample box is on their website under the Korean Beauty sample box. I shall leave all the links down below in case you want to go and check this out if you think you would like. It retails at about 16 to 17 pounds. Yes style also has an aggregate point system where if you have bought with them previously you will get a member rating from bronze to gold. 16 to 17 pounds is their regular member price so if you haven't bought anything before that is the price for you. Depending on your membership rating depends on the discount. All my thoughts and opinions on this box shall be at the regular member price, so 16 to 17 pounds, as I think it's unfair me reviewing it as a gold member, because two to three pounds can make um, quite a bit of difference. First impressions of the box are that it's a little bit small in comparison to other either subscription boxes or sort of like beauty boxes that I've seen around but then again shipping from Asia is not only dependent on weight but also size. I have been <laughs> caught out myself shipping things from Korea to home. Oh dear. The website does say that the box has 10 items inside and the box itself is really pretty so what's inside counts and size is not all. When we open it up you can see the 10 products are neatly packed in there. I have already opened it and sort of rearranged things so that I could count to see how many products were in the box. There are 10, my maths is good. And first impressions were that it's really nice to see everything from Etude House to La Neige. Um, I'll go through the brands individually so you can sort of get a feel of the brands that are involved and then I shall give you my thoughts on the box as a whole at the end. We'll start off with what many people, and myself included, consider to be the gateway brand into Korean cosmetics. Um, I know many people start off with Etude House, um, purely because it's one of the most advertised or most recognisable, and generally also one of the most accessible. I and many other people who I know who shop Korean cosmetics regularly 
pretty much all started off with the Etude House Precious Mineral BB Cream, so I am really not surprised to see it in a sample box at all. So this is kind of like nostalgia moment. Instantly I can see that the packaging has changed quite drastically. It used to be much more boxy and far less rectangular, and the actual BB Cream used to have a pump action to dispense. I do know that they've changed their formula since I stopped buying this, so I was quite excited to try. Unfortunately though, it is in the third shade which is far too dark for me. I am their lightest shade at my most tanned. So no use for me. It's nice to see that you get a full size base product in a sample box. Next product from Etude House is this Colour My Brows Brow Mascara. Um, I haven't tried any brow mascaras from Western or Eastern brands, so this is a new product for me completely. But judging by Etude House's current brow lineup and mascara lineup, if this is anything like that, it will not budge, <laughs> which is good, but uh, you need a pretty heavy duty cleanser to get it off. Um, it's in the first shade, so that should be a good match for me. Again, it's a full size product, which is always nice to see, and yeah, I'm excited to try this. The final product from Etude House is the Collagen Eye Patch. Tried and tested for me, I do like them. They don't really do much to erase under eye circles, but they are a fab way to get instant hydration to tired eyes. When I was in Korea, I used to use these all the time after a night out before uni, just because it would make me look a little bit more alert and awake and far less dehydrated under the eye. Next, we'll move on to a brand that is currently trending, especially here on YouTube, with their tattoo eyebrow and lip products, and that brand is Berisom. Not a brand I've tried myself before, but I've had my eye on to try for quite a while. Um, especially this Oops Tint Cheek Cushion. It's been in and out of my basket since the product came out, but I haven't really committed to buying, purely because at the time, either money or kind of like shipping constraints, I guess. It's a super cute sugar pink shade. I have used this already and am about as in love as I thought I would be. And if you're wondering what the weird cushion thing on the top is, the product itself is a cushion blusher. If you've heard the hype around cushion foundations, the next steps are cushion blush, cushion bronzer, cushion contour. Koreans are pretty big on their cushion products at the moment. So I was pretty stoked to see this in the box as cushion products are something that I do enjoy. The second product from Verisom is this My Lip Tint Pack in Virgin Red. I've not seen this myself before, it wasn't around when I was in Korea, but I have seen quite a few Korean beauty gurus and makeup artists using this product to create a fabulous ombre lip. First impressions are that the product itself is really quite sticky. <laughs> like really sticky, but so incredibly pigmented that I can understand why it's a product that quite a lot of people love. The packaging is like a squeezy lip balm tube, is a bit messy. I'm really interested to try this especially around Halloween because this colour is a fab like fake blood colour. Um, moving on to two products that are completely new to me. I do enjoy when things like this throw up new products and um, new brands for me to try. I think that's a really great thing to have, especially in a sample box. Um, the first is this McQueen Cushion Tint for Lip and Cheek. It's a gorgeous, if I can open it, it's a gorgeous dusky mauve colour, although I'm not entirely sure why it's called a cushion tint, because there isn't any cushion on this at all. <laughs> if we're comparing to the cushion blush here that does have a very definite cushion on the top, this does not have that. The applicator is a doe foot, if, it is very soft if they're getting cushion from that, but it is a doe foot applicator and um, and that is confusing me slightly, but I do love a good multi-purpose product, lip and cheek. I've never had anything in this shade as a cheek product, so I'll be really interested to try that for some makeup looks. Lip, it's gorgeous. It is a really beautiful colour. The brand, as I said, haven't tried it before. It does feel very weighty and quite high end. The um, little vial is cool to touch, which leads me to believe it's glass. It's got a very tight stopper in between the lid and the product, so that it doesn't go everywhere. The second brand that is new to me is Beauty People, and I have the Fast Tens Gel Liner Auto Pencil. In the shade Beige. Well, actually, in the shade Diamond Beige, which makes it worse, because it's a shimmer shade. Eyeliners are great, I love them. I love screw-up sharpener eyeliners as well, because I hate sharpening pencils. 
And the packaging is pretty standard, it's a matte black with white writing. It reminds me a lot of the Riri packaging from the eyeliner I picked up in my last Korean haul. The only thing that's throwing me off is the colour. I would never ever pick beige as an eyeliner, and I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing because it's giving me something new to try, but also I would never try it <laughs> because it's beige. I know there was a trend a while back in Korea for colour on the lower lash line, but that was mostly in peaches, pinks and reds not sparkly beige. So I'm a little bit confused of how I'm gonna get use out of this, but it is a challenge that I am willing to accept. Moving on from odd and into something that I'm not at all surprised to see in here, and that is the Tony Moly I'm Real Rice Mask Skit Clear Skin Sheet. If you've been reading my blog or watched my videos for quite a while now, you'll know that I am in love with sheet masks. I love them to bits, they are fab. If you don't use them in your beauty routine, why not? You should be. Seeing a Tony Moly product in a sample box for Korean Korean cosmetics is really not a surprise, especially considering the waves they're making in the Western world at the moment. Sheet masks are amazing for all skin types, and there's not really much more that I can go on about this other than yay for rice sheet masks, you're my favourite, and if you don't use sheet masks already, you should. The last two products are moving up from kind of like the super affordable range and into more high-end. I only have a few high-end beauty pieces in my entire collection, so I'm <laughs> I'm more than happy to get more, basically. The first I'll talk about is this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It is such a beautifully packaged item. This rose colour is adorable. And Laneige is a brand that I have never bought from personally, but have really loved a lot of the product ranges that have come out. When I was in Korea, I used to spend a lot of time in the shop. Never bought anything, even from the collaboration that they did with Push Button, no matter how much I wanted to, mostly because Dropping that amount of money on a product that, that I knew would eventually be used up was something that I couldn't bring myself to do. But getting like high-end beauty in a sample box I think is pretty damn great. This is the Laneige Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask. It is a lip scrub that is deeply hydrating and as much as a contradiction as that sounds, the reviews that I've seen are pretty good. So I'm really excited to try this. In the box you get a little applicator so you don't have to put your fingers in the pot, which is great for hygiene reasons. Yeah. The second product from the more high-end range, although this is a vastly more affordable product from anything that I've seen from them, is the Blackhead Nose Pack from Torsalung. I don't actually suffer from blackheads personally at the moment, but these sort of strips are always handy to keep around in case I have a pressing engagement and just need to clean the gunk off my nose. You get eight sachets in a box, so these are great for travelling, sticking in your purse and whacking one on in the toilets between train stations. You never know. Um, fab and quite handy to have. I have tried some of their other stuff and do love it as a skincare first brand. Generally quite happy to get these as they'll go into my emergency stash. Empty box, that's all 10 products, so I'll give you my thoughts on the box as a whole. First up, 16 to 17 pounds for 10 products is an absolute steal. Other than the competitors, so other Korean beauty subscription boxes or one-off packs, you're not gonna get that deal anywhere else. I've been shopping Korean cosmetics in store and online for a very long time, and in my last haul, 10 products cost me about 35 pounds with shipping. It is one of those things where if you are looking to get into Korean cosmetics and have no idea where to start, this sort of thing is really good for you. It's also great if you are into Korean cosmetics but or want to try new brands or want to try new products but don't really know what you're looking for, Fab idea! Another plus is the range of brands that you get. It's really nice to see everything from super affordable Etude House and Tony Molly to more high-end Laneige and Torso. Having that mix really does show me that this box is really good value for money. In the same vein as a range of brands, we also have a range of products. There's everything from really affordable skincare to uh, makeup that you may not have tried before. It's really good to see that the products are full size. I will check that Laneige product though you basically get a full face in a box. Moving on to the negatives, the, the only one really is that you don't get to choose colours. Whereas that might work out really quite great for you that you get something that you've never tried before, you also get the issue where you get foundations that you cannot use at all. For some people it can be seen as kind of like a waste of money or just a bit of a disappointment. But yeah, bottom line is, for 16 to 17 pounds and 10 products, I think it's fabulous value for money. I really do. And I think that's all I have to say on this. 
Um, if you like this video, why not subscribe to my channel or give it a little thumbs up, it would really make my day. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, I shall get back to you as soon as I can. Or you can hit me up and have a chat on my social channels. Uh, I'm always on Twitter, like, I'm always on Twitter. Let me know what your favourite product is or if you've tried any of these yourselves and I shall see you in my next video. Bye! I had a really weird day yesterday. Um...